Hello, my name is JJ Murphy and I am proud to be standing here in Palmdale as your city manager. Welcome and thank you for coming, whether you're watching from home, from your cars, or here with us in person, we are humbled to honor our peace officers today. Let's begin our observance today with the singing of our national anthem. Today, we are honored to have with us singer, songwriter, musician, and television contestant on The Voice, the Antelope Valley Zone, Joey Falco, accompanied by her brother, actor, and musician, Jesse Falco. Falco, if you're able, please rise. seated. Thank you, Joey and Jesse. That was incredible. How about another round of applause for them? <clears throat> now I would like to recognize a few of our law enforcement representatives in attendance. Los, Ange Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Chief Dennis Neer. Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, Captain Ron Schaefer from our Palmdale Sheriff's Station. Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, retired Assistant Sheriff Bobby Denham. Captain Eric Bronier, California Highway Patrol. Warden R.C. Johnson, California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Donald Olstad, Chief Deputy Warren. <laughs> Mike Miller, Director of Neighborhood Services and his team. Sarah Gallagher, Community Cl Compliance Supervisor for the City of Palmdale and our teams of Public Security Officers, Neighborhood Compliance Officers and Code Enforcement Officers and Kerry German and our team of Community Service Officers. I'd also like to represent, recognize our other first responders present. LA County Fire Battalion Chief Gary Harris. And not on my list, but sitting right in front of me, recently retired Larry Jones. And thank you to our elected officials who are here today. Palmdale Mayor Steve Hofbauer. <laughs> Mayor Pro Tem Richard Loa. 
Council Member Austin Bishop. <laughs> Council Member Laura Bentoncourt. <laughs> Council Member Juan Carrillo. <laughs> Assemblyman Tom Lackey, also retired California Highway Patrol. Donna Tremere, Senior Field Deputy, and Chuck Boswick, both here for, from, for Catherine Barger, Chair, LA County Board of Supervisors. <laughs> Drew Mercy, District Director for State Senator Scott Wilk. <laughs> Police Week and Peace Officer Memorial Day are times when we come together as a country and honor those brave men and women in law enforcement who have lost their lives while serving their communities. We also recognize the tremendous sacrifices that law enforcement officers make for us, all, the, all of us, all the time, every day. While Police Week is typically a time to come together to share memories and stories and honor our friends who have made the ultimate sacrifice, the impacts of COVID-19 have required these commemorations be moved into a virtual environment this year or canceled around the country. The city of Palmdale is proud to be honoring the fallen peace officers here today. To quote the President's Police Week proclamation, law enforcement officials have never wavered in the face of crisis or tragedy. During uncertain times, law enforcement officers bravely face challenges and continue to protect the American people. They steadfastly ensure the safety of our communities, providing a much needed sense of security for our citizens and our country is extremely grateful for their efforts. These are in fact uncertain times, but what remains certain is our unwavering support for law enforcement. They are the most essential of our employees and do not have the luxury of social distancing and staying home. Our support for them must not wane during these challenging times. We are extremely thankful for the brave men and women who are serving the residents of Palmdale, the deputies of, at the Palmdale Sheriff's Station, the California Highway Patrol's officers, our state peace officers, and our own public security officers, and pa public safety staff who work to maintain a safe, secure, and peaceful community that we can all enjoy Will you join me in giving all of these peace officers a round of applause? In the spirit of gratitude for all that law enforcement does for our community, I invite Mayor Steve Hofbauer to read our proclamation to the Palmdale Sheriff's Station, the Mayor city, and City Council of Palmdale, and the other elected officials have each signed three proclamations for our three peace officer agencies here today. Mayor Hofbauer, will you please come forward to read the first proclamation. Thank you, JJ. Where are we got an item here? Thank you, JJ. Proclamation by the City of Palmdale, Peace Officers Memorial Day. Whereas on Peace Officers Memorial Day and throughout Police Week, we express our unending gratitude to our nation's law enforcement officers, especially those serving in the City of Palmdale. These brave men and women selflessly confront danger to protect their families and defend our communities. We also honor those who have been killed or disabled in the line of duty and are especially mindful of the 146 heroes who laid down their lives this year. Whereas work continues on several fronts to enhance the health and safety of our nation's law enforcement officers, the Department of Justice continues to promote initiatives that provide funding for, for bulletproof vests, active shooter training, national blue alert system, and other programs that bolster the physical and mental health of those who protect us. Surplus military equipment is being made available to our law enforcement agencies 
and a Law Enforcement Mental Health and Wellness Act, which was signed into law in 2018, is improving the delivery of and access to mental health and wellness services. Whereas the best way we can support our local law enforcement is to partner with them to reduce violent crime. City of Palmdale and our Palmdale Sheriff deputies together are dedicated to community-oriented policing. It's a proven crime prevention strategy. Over the past seven years, this partnership has resulted in reducing crime levels not seen in decades. Whereas all peace officers sworn in reserve, including those locally serving the LA County Sheriff's Department, California Highway Patrol, California Department of Corrections and Rehab, serve with courage, dedication, and strength. They fearlessly enforce our laws, even at the risk of personal peril, safeguarding our property, our liberty, and our lives. We owe them and their families full and enduring support. Whereas by a joint resolution signed by President John F. Kennedy on October 1, 1962, and President Donald Trump is authorized to designate May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day, and this week falls in Police Week. Now therefore, I, Steve Hoffbauer, Mayor of Palmdale, on behalf of the entire City Council, do hereby deem it an honor to extend this proclamation to the Palmdale Sheriff Station, the California Highway Patrol, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, and proclaim May 15th as Peace Officer Memorial Day in the City of Palmdale. morning. I would like to thank the Palmdale City Manager JJ Murphy for being the driving force behind today's Peace Officer Memorial Ceremony and thank you for showing your support. The month of May is set aside to recognize many people and professions, many of which have to do with public safety, such as our nurses and military. We combat the corona as we combat the coronavirus, our fire department, paramedics, EMTs, nurses, doctors, and medical professionals have been placed in the breach of chaos to battle the invisible enemy. They are on the front lines of this battle and deserve our thanks and gratitude. Everybody's world has been turned upside down, shaken like a snow globe, and set back down to create a new normal out of the unknown. The people, moms, dads, neighbors, business organizations, and cities are rising to the occasion to make sense out of the senseless, to provide care for the traumatized and share love so that not only do we survive, but we thrive our way to work out of this pandemic. Our community is in great hands with our city staff, elected officials, and the people who live and work here. Through dedicated effort, we have a, a declining crime rate over the past five years, and our roadways are safer to drive on. Palmdale Sheriff Station is supported by the city as we carry out our mission of public safety. I would like to thank the city staff, council for their support. I would especially like to thank the neighborhood services team of code enforcement officers, neighborhood community service officers, community service officers, and the security officers who are a false multiplier for our department to improve public safety and enhance the quality of life. You are dedicated professionals. And you are dedicated to the mission of making Palmdale a place to call home. Thank you. Palmdale Station is made up of 267 amazing people, both sworn and professional staff, who are your family, friends, and neighbors in Palmdale. The professional staff are frequently heard by the public, but not seen. They are, all, they are the call takers, jailers, secretaries, and maintenance magicians that truly keep the station running smoothly. I marvel at their commitment, and dedication to public safety and their ingenuity to surmount challenges in accomplishing the mission. Palmdale deputies are the finest in the department. We have the largest patrol area in the Sheriff's Department and it is essential, it is essential that personnel are self-sufficient when they perform their duties. Because the majority of them live in the AB, they are more committed to the cause of public safety and engaging the public as they perform their duties. During this police week, it is fitting to give our deputies and our colleagues in the Highway Patrol and the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation and other law enforcement agencies the praise and accolades they so richly deserve. 
working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, holidays, anniversaries, birthdays, and weekends. Their experiences can expose them to the very best of people and the worst of humanity in the same day, same shift, and same hour. Thanks also goes to their families who stand in support of them day after day. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to my colleagues at Palmdale Station and our law enforcement agencies in the AV. I recently completed my first year as the captain of Palmdale Station and I too have experienced the highs and lows of the profession from sharing career accomplishments of personnel completing their training programs for their jobs, celebrating promotions and career advancements, to honoring our 2020 Deputy of the Year, Deputy Brian Wiggins. The lows have consisted of visiting our employees at hospitals due to sickness and injuries, and I've also attended two deputy funerals this past year. And I thank you again for the great support we get from our city, the community, and our partners. Thank you very much. Thanks, Captain. Uh, so now I'd like to invite um, uh, Assemblyman Tom Lackey up here. Uh, I believe you have a uh, proclamation for the Highway Patrol. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here today and thank you to the City of Palmdale for allowing us this, uh, this privilege to recognize those who have lost their lives in the service of others. I am gonna take just a few seconds to share with you my thoughts on this issue. I think this is a very sacred set of circumstances. As a member of the California Highway Patrol for 28 years, I learned the reality that death is associated very directly with this unique perspective and this, this unique pathway to public service. I uh, unfortunately can tell you that I worked with eight people whose names lie on the memorial at the California High Patrol Academy who lost their lives in the service of others. And here's another unique twist that not <clears throat> many people don't consider, is that I have two partners who are both younger than I, who are not alive today because of the difficulties associated with this profession. It is a very noble profession that often gets mischaracterized unfairly. And I want you to know that I couldn't be more proud of the service that is provided on a daily basis. And people who are, know that this is a risk they take, that they may lose their life in serving others. And I'm thankful that we're recognizing those who did indeed lose their life in this service. So thank you to the city of Palmdale because this year the state of California was unable to recognize those who lost their lives in the way we normally do because of this pandemic circumstance. So I wanna thank Palmdale for creating a unique opportunity to make this recognition because it certainly is worthy. And lastly, I want to send my support to all family members of those who have lost their lives because they are the ones who truly pay the price because they no longer have their loved one as an influence in their lives, either as a father, as a mother, or a son or a daughter. And I would like to present this certificate on behalf of the California State Legislature, more specifically the California State Assembly, and present it to the California Highway Patrol as we acknowledge the Peace Officers Memorial Day Police Week of 2020. It's my distinct honor to pay tribute to the local, state, and federal peace officers who have died, been disabled in the line of duty. Their sacrifice and that of their families will never be forgotten, and we are forever grateful for their service. Thank you all. Thank you, uh, Assemblyman Lackey, for that. Um, I want to thank the City of Palmdale for the opportunity that they provided me to come here to represent the 226 California Highway Patrol officers who gave their lives in the line of duty, trying to provide the highest level of safety, service, and security to the people of California. Um, it is my great honor to be here. I thank you all for being a part of this and for taking time to be here to help 
uh, commemorate this occasion. And uh, it is a very worthy occasion. I think Tom, Tom said it all. So thank you very much for allowing me to be part of it. All right, we're going to uh, we're going to invite up uh, Drew Mercy from uh, Senator Scott Wilkes' office. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, uh, it's an honor to be here on behalf of Senator Scott Wilk uh, this morning uh, to pay tribute to our law enforcement officers, uh, particularly, especially today, uh, we remember the sacrifices that so many have made to keep our community safe. I think, especially in times like this. Uh, we become even we in the public become even more aware of the uh, the sacrifices and risk that our law enforcement take and uh, Senator Wilk and the entire state Senate want to extend our appreciation and uh, 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 re respect and admiration for all on the front lines and in particular to show our love and support for those families uh, that today is a hard day because they're missing missing a loved one so on behalf of Senator Scott Wilk, uh, we've been asked to present to the Palmdale Sheriff Station and uh, appreciation for all the community service and the public safety and they do to make this such a great city, such a great place to live. Uh, so uh, thank you, Captain Jaffer. Thank Jaffer. you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, now from uh, the uh, uh, LA County Supervisor, the Chair of the Board of Supervisors, I'd like to bring up Chuck Bostwick. Chuck? Good morning, I'm Chuck Bostwick. I'm an Assistant Field Deputy for Supervisor Catherine Barger, who's Chair of the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors. Um, uh, it's my honor to participate in this to help honor the uh, law enforcement officers in Animal Valley, and right now it's my honor to present a uh, scroll particularly to the California Department of Corrections. If Warden can come up. Um, it's been an especially trying time for uh, the state prison locally, um, so we just thank you for your service, thank you for your staff service, and all your correctional officers' service. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is uh, Warden R.C. Johnson from, uh, can you hear me now? Okay, my name is R.C. Johnson. I'm the warden at uh, California State Prison in Los Angeles. I want to thank the city of Palmdale for inviting us and allowing us to participate in this um, event. Um, I want to thank the staff members that come into the prison every day. I have approximately 1,600 staff members that work there that um, on a daily basis they risk their lives. We deal with the coronavirus. We've had a lot of Oh, we've had a lot of infected inmates and a lot of infected staff, and we've been working through that. Um, I, I appreciate their family members and them. Uh, I appreciate all of my ancillary staff, my cooks, my nursing staff especially. Um, I just want to thank you guys for allowing us to participate in this, in this event. So thank you very much. This Peace Officer Memorial Day event is as much about remembering those who have given their lives in the act of duty as it is for us to support their family and friends. These are the men, women, boys and girls who see their loved ones leave home each day knowing that there's a possibility that they may not return. We all know, or perhaps we are even, part of that unique fraternity of people who live with that very real possibility. When we decided to hold this ceremony, we wanted to give, the, give people the opportunity to contact us and send us the names of their loved ones who are no longer with us so that, they, we, so that we could likewise remember them. The names we will be reading are those brave men and women who selflessly gave their lives in the line of duty since January 1st, 2019, from around the United States. 
reading these names with me today will be, and can you, if you could join me as your name is called, Los Angeles County Sheriff's Captain Ron Schaefer. Deputy Sheriff William Christopher Dickerson. Master Patrol Officer Spencer Daniel Bristol. Deputy Sheriff Cooper Andrew Dyson. Deputy Sheriff Brian Charles Fulger. Detective Clifton John Martinez. Police Officer Jose Humberto Meza. Sergeant Scott Johnson. Private First Class, Michael Sean Latou. Chief Deputy, Bobby Wayne Jacobs. Constable, Eula Ray Hawkins. Sergeant Kayla Marie Sullivan. Police Detective Joseph Seals. Sergeant Christopher Brewster. Police Agent, Billy Fred Clardy III. Sheriff John Williams. Officer Rasheen McLean. Sheriff's Office Investigator Cecil Ridley. Police Detective George Del Rio. Deputy Sheriff Brian Ishman. Deputy Sheriff Sandeep Diwali. Police Captain Vincent Liberto Jr. Police Officer Darnell Cossett. Patrol Officer Moises Sanchez. Trooper Nicholas Hopkins. Officer Andre Moy. Sheriff's Office Sergeant Michael Stephen. Sheriff's Deputy Nicholas Dixon. Deputy Sheriff Troy Chisholm. Officer Michael Langsdorf. Corporal Jose Espercuto. Police Officer Tara O'Sullivan. Police Officer William Kuchner. Police Officer Kevin Ansari. Police Officer Robert McKeithen. Police Officer Jordan Harris Sheldon. Deputy Sheriff Justin DeRoser. Deputy Sheriff Peter Herrera. Deputy Sheriff Ryan Thompson. Deputy Sheriff Jacob Kiltner. Police Officer Nathan Heidelberg. Captain Bronier. Sheriff Sergeant Steve Hinkle. Police Agent Alfred Zainet Perez. Police Officer Matthew Ridner. Trooper Lucas B. Dowell. Detective Bill Brewer. Police Officer Sean Tudor. Police Sergeant Witasha Carter. Police Officer Natalie Corona. Police Officer Joseph Shinners. Investigator Ryan D. Fortini. Public Safety Officer Jackson Ryan Winkler. Police Officer Paul Dunn. Police Officer Nicholas Lee Reyna. Detective Amber Joy Least. Deputy Sheriff Jared Taylor. Officer Tiffany Victoria Enriquez. Officer Kalek Kalama. Deputy Sheriff Sheldon Gordon Whitman. Major Angelette Moore. Police Officer Matthew S. Von Seidwitz. 
Police Officer Allen Daniel McCollum. Deputy Sheriff Richard Edward Witten. Police Officer Nick O'Rear. Trooper Joseph John Bullock. Police Officer Kenneth Reed Lester. Detective James Traver Kirk. Deputy Sheriff Donna Richardson Below. Lieutenant Shirley Lanning. Officer David Kellywood. Corporal Andrew J. Gillette. Police Officer Brent William Perry Scrimshire. Police Officer Christopher Ryan Walsh. Deputy Sheriff Kenturis Taylor. Senior Deputy Christopher Scott Corzillis. Corrections Officer Amanda L. DeLeon. Police Officer Kaia LaFay Grant. Captain Jonathan Parnell. Trooper Justin R. Schaefer. Trooper Nolan James Sanders. And Warden Johnson. Sergeant Ben Jenkins, Commander Greg Carnell, Sheriff Kurt A. Coker, Detective Mary Lou Armour, Deputy Sheriff Serafathu Bud Flangfatang, Deputy Sheriff Jeff Hopkins, Deputy Sheriff Terrell Young, Police Officer Marco DeFranco, Deputy Sheriff Shannon Bennett, Correctional Officer 4, Calvin D. Welcher, Officer Brianne Leith, Sergeant Clifton W. Martin Sr., Chief of Police Terry Engel, Chief of Police Robert William Seelock, Deputy Sheriff Jeremy Ledoux, Police Officer Joseph Fontanez, Sergeant Joseph Spinoza, Detective Alex Ruperto, Police Officer Ronald Newman, Police Officer Justin Putnam, probation and parole agent, Caitlin, or Caitlin Marie Cowley. Warden Wilmot Sandlin Sandy McLean. Corporal Lawrence Onley. Police officer Christopher Eric Ewing. Correction Officer 5, Jonathan Keith Goodman. Police Officer, Dan Walters. Chaplain 2, Akbar N. Shabazz. Police Officer, Joseph Capello. Patrolman, Gary Walker. Agent, Michael Martinez Ortiz. Lieutenant, Glendale Huto Jr. Deputy Sheriff, John Andrew Roden. Correction Officer, Coy D. Kaufman, Jr. Correction Officer, for James D. Coleman. Senior Police Officer, Mark Hall, Sr. Detective Sergeant, Randall C. French. Detention Deputy, Timothy D. La Fuente. Police Officer, Jason Knox. Police Officer, Michael S. Mosier, Sergeant Linnell Q. Martinez, Police Officer Charles Rob Roberts III. Thank you very much.
I will read the names from our local memorial and those that were sent in from across the country. Constable Herbert Endicott Glidden, Deputy Sheriff Gregory L. Lowe, Reserve Deputy Sheriff Charles Christopher Plumley, Deputy Sheriff Rosemary Iris May, Deputy Sheriff Richard B. Hammock, Officer Charles H. Sorensen, Deputy Sheriff Pierre Walter Bain, Sergeant Stephen C. Owen, Los Angeles County Constable's Office, California. Deputy Constable George A. Curtis. I will now read the names that we have received from across the country. Los Angeles Police Department Officer Christopher Cortillo. San Diego Police Department Officer Daniel Dan Walters. Newport News, Virginia Officer Catherine Mary Fine. Georgia Lawrence, Deputy. Kyle Wayne Dinkheller. Somerset, Maine, Corporal Eugene Philip Cole. Reading, Pennsylvania, Michael Harris Wise II. Philadelphia, Corporal James R. O'Connor. Philadelphia, Police Officer Daniel J. Faulkner. Los Angeles, California, Deputy David March. Los Angeles, California Deputy, Hagrope Jake Karigian. Retired and deceased, Chicago Officer Daniel Stephen Perra. James Lennox, Philadelphia Police Department. Jack Logan, Philadelphia Police Department. Inspector Joseph Rapone, Philadelphia Police Department. Currently serving or retired, Officer Enrique Gutierrez, Deputy Chris Deville, Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, Officer Jesse Sosa, Los Angeles Police Department, Officer Christopher Harrison, San Diego Police Department, Detective Ahmad White, Hobbs, New Mexico Police Department, Officer Joe Pepe Rapone, Philadelphia Police Department, Detective Jack Logan Jr., Philadelphia Police Department, Captain Gene Rapone, Philadelphia Police Department, retired. Captain Jim McCaffrey, Philadelphia Police Department, retired. Officer Chuck Walters, Philadelphia Police Department, retired. Officer John Doty, Philadelphia Police Department, retired. Officer Pat Cooney, Philadelphia Police Department, retired. Sergeant Jack Murphy, Philadelphia Police Department, retired. If you were able, please stand facing the flag, and join us for a moment of silence, which will be followed by the playing of taps and by a benediction from Kyle Bisling, retired Los Angeles Sheriff's Department Sergeant.
Good morning. I want to thank the uh, city council, the mayor, and uh, Mr. Murphy here for what they've done. Their full page ad that's in the paper today, which I have a copy of, and the way they've honored law enforcement today in these trying times when the state wouldn't, and other places wouldn't, they made a way. And I'd just like to say my last 20 years with the department was as a city liaison sergeant for this city. And I love this city. I love these people. I love the city employees, and I thank them for what they do. In John 15, 13, Jesus says to his disciples, greater love has no one than this, to lay down his own life for the ones that he loves and his friends. And he said that because he, what he was going about to do. But it can also be applied to the law enforcement career. My father was a cop 30 years. My brother-in-law was a cop 32 years. I have 32 years. My son is now a deputy at Palmdale Sheriff's Station. These men and women that are in uniform today, their mommies and daddies, uncles, aunts, sons, daughters, and they start their day by sitting in front of a locker, putting on boots or socks, their regular uniform, but they put on a bulletproof vest, most of them with their blood type written on it in case they're injured in the line of duty or shot. They slide back the slide to make sure that they have ammunition and their weapon. They train in all sorts of things. They have to know millions of different laws and how to apply them. They have to be nice and smile at one call when they were just berated and treated like crap at another call all the time with the best demeanor. I have had the blessing of working with some of the greatest law enforcement people on earth. Steve Owen was a classmate of mine, class 240, LA County Sheriff's Department. The uniformed people here today and those that are off duty, thank you for keeping our city safe. Thank you for keeping the Antelope Valley safe. You are my heroes. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I ask for your protection, wisdom, and guidance for these men and women. You give them courage. You spoke to Joshua when he took the staff from Moses. Be strong and courageous. Three times he said that. Be strong and courageous. I pray for their families, their wives, their husbands, sons, daughters, the fathers that worry about them, that see it, hear of a news story, a quick blip that someone's been shot and they're wondering, was it my son? Was it my husband? Was it my wife? I ask that you give them a peace and a strength that surpasses all understanding. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, I want to, uh, want to thank everybody for being here today. Um, you know, like the others said, when other people couldn't figure out a way to do it, Palmdale did. We did it. So I want to thank you all for being here. Give yourselves a hand. So in closing, I just want to say, uh, remember, uh, take a look around here. Palmdale cares, right? All right, dealing with the wind here. Mr. Bagpiper, I believe you're on, sir. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.